Yes. Good morning and welcome to the Committee on Criminal Justice. All members of staff, please turn on your video and place your electronic devices to, uh, to silence. Chair, whenever you're ready to begin. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, welcome everybody today and um, good morning. I'm City Councilmember Keith Powers, Chair of the C Committee on Criminal Justice. Today we're here to uh, have a vote on two bills which I am sponsoring. Um, the first bill requires the Department of Corrections and CHS to submit to the Speaker of the City Council and make publicly available on the Department's website a daily report related to the outbreak of COVID-19 in the city jails. The report would include cumulative numbers of individuals diagnosed and tested for COVID-19, along with other pertinent infor information. It also would require CHS and DOC to provide regular updates to people in custody about the public health emergency and to publish a timeline of significant events. This is really important because during this crisis, we've been trying to get as much information as we can about the crisis, who's, uh, who's gotten sick, how many people have been out, uh, for work and other information, this is going to require and ensure that we get all information in a timely manner to be able to evaluate this crisis and a crisis in the future. The second bill will require the mayor to create a local conditional release commission pursuant to uh, section 271 of the correction law. The commission would determine subject to state limitations, which individuals who are serving city sentences could be granted early release. This bill, in addition to the 6A work release program, would give the city an additional tool to release people who do not need to be incarcerated at the discretion of this commission. As I said in our last hearing on these bills, had the commission been in place prior to the pandemic, we could have let folks out who were vulnerable populations and didn't belong in our city jails or were at risk and at risk at, of getting the virus and having potentially having underlying health condition in a more timely fashion. Time is of the essence in making sure that the commission is up and running. I'm glad that we have both these bills before us today. And I wanna thank uh, our staff for here at the city council, my staff, Abigail Bessler, Kate Theobald, and the staff here, Brian Crow, Alana Sivin, and all the others who helped put together a hearing last week on Rikers and <clears throat> also hearing these bills as well. Um, I wanna just thank as well the council members who are here in attendance. I see council member Amprey Samuel, council member Menchaca, council member Lanceman, council member Holden, council member Rivera. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, I think we are gonna uh, now open the vote. We are gonna open the vote. Liam Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on criminal justice. Items are coupled, chair powers. I vote aye. Lanceman. Aye. Amprey Samuel. I vote aye. Holden. I vote uh, yes on intro 1954 and no on intro 1956. Rivera. I vote aye and will you sign me on to both bills? Thank you. They, uh, by a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions, pre-considered introduction 1954 has been adopted by the committee. And by a vote of four in the affirmative, one in the negative and no abstentions, pre-considered introduction 1956 has also been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Uh, no, we don't have to keep the vote open. So thanks, thanks everybody. And uh, this is adjourned. Thanks.